plan to create a little summer magic in Guthrie has taken a dark turn. What was supposed to be a fairy house-themed scavenger hunt has now evolved into a criminal investigation, and the only hunting going on is police looking for suspects. News Force Natalie Clydesdale is on Crime Watch. Well, thanks to the vandals, now only four of the 13 fairy houses are left. Both the city and the Guthrie Police Department are asking anyone with any information about this to come forward. This type of damage is offensive, and it should be offensive to everyone. It was an enchanting addition to the Highland Park Trails in Guthrie. It was a neat deal. Got our kids that come together and, um, and things to make this kind of stuff put a lot of time and effort into it. A generous Guthrie resident teamed up with art students at Guthrie High School and the Guthrie Job Corps to create a fairy house scavenger hunt. A bunch of little um, neat items, uh, fairy house, and some other whimsical things that you could go around and locate um, in the park with you there. You could do it with your kids. But the magic quickly ran out. The city says after just one week, all but four have either been destroyed, stolen, or damaged. I think it's terrible, but I do think that our teenagers need more to do. There is a lot of vandalism. It's not new. It's an ongoing problem. Sergeant Anthony Gibbs with the Guthrie Police Department says they're not sure how many suspects are involved, but says whoever is responsible could be looking at charges for vandalism, theft, and if they kept the houses knowingly concealing stolen property, which is a felony. We should be able to put out something like this for the enjoyment of everyone and not worry about whether or not someone's going to come along and take it. In Guthrie, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, anyone with information should call the city of Guthrie or the Guthrie Police Department. We have those numbers on our website. And